Hi everyone, Catherine here. Welcome to today's video. Today we'll be talking through how to create a HDR effect on your photography. So this is not specifically for sport photography, but I'll be focusing more on that. You can use it on whichever photography that you've got. We'll be going through two ways of how to create this effect today. One which will be using a plugin and another is one where you don't need any plugins, you will just be using the camera raw filter on Photoshop. So yeah, let's go. So just open your image within Photoshop. Um, I got this one from Unsplash. Obviously, usually I use Getty images, but obviously I can't use them for copyright reasons on YouTube. Um, yeah, so this one is from Unsplash. There's a lot of good images on there. I'll put the link in the description. So first things first, we need to duplicate the background layer. So unlock it and then press Command J, which duplicates it. I always duplicate the background just, just in case anything goes wrong. So this one, first way we're gonna look at is the top as way. So this is a plugin that you have for Photoshop and I think it, it costs, I'm not sure how much it costs now because I got it a few years ago, but it does cost money. It costs real money. <laughs> So we'll go through this this version first and then we'll go through the camera raw filter after. So the Topaz version, so we go to filter, Topaz Labs, and I use Topaz Clarity to create this effect. So once the Topaz is loaded, these are all the sort of different collections they're named on here. So I usually just go with general, but obviously you can use, depending on the photography that you've got, so we can use architecture, documentary, fashion, and these are all sort of, so they have filters within them. So if we click on general, these are the filters within general. The filters that I use the most are the, probably the micro, micro contrast boost two, which is very, obviously if you click it, we'll see before and after. It's very strong, but we can change that within photo editing after. So we, this is the one that I use, but obviously there's a lot of other ones as well. This one isn't as strong. Some of them uh, boost the colors and saturation a bit more, but we want to focus on the HD effect here. So HDR effect, sorry. So once you're happy with it, obviously you can change the settings within here, but I'm pretty happy with this. And we click OK. And you'll see now we've got our topaz layer here. And once I close the eye, you'll see the difference here. It is a lot, it is quite different. So we can zoom in, we'll see all the, so basically what it does is darkens the black and it sort of brings out all the details. So all the, the skin details, and it just, it just makes the faces stand out more when you, um, well, when you want the faces to stand out more. So yeah, that is the first way of doing it. Obviously this includes having to buy Topaz, but obviously there is a lot of things that you can use in Topaz, not just Topaz Clarity. Topaz Clean, that's a different sort of, which it smooths out things instead of bringing out the textures. So if you want a video on any, any of the um, filters of Topaz, let me know in the comments below. So next we'll go on to the Camera Raw version of how to create this effect so we'll duplicate the background layer again and we'll call this camera raw hide the top as layer so once you've selected your camera raw layer filter camera raw filter and this window appears so there's a lot of options down the right obviously don't get a bit it, it is quite intimidating when you first see it um, but we're just, basically what I use is basic. We don't need any of the other bits unless you really want to get a bit more detailed with it. So how I'm zooming in, by the way, is option and scroll on my Mac and then space bar to move around. So I'm focusing more on the face. This is really what I want to stand out because people always look at faces. So the main sort of filter, not filter, but section that we use for this is the clarity. So if we basically up the clarity, you'll see on the image now is it's becoming like the Topaz filter. So you can you can whack it all the way down and it'll go weird. 
but we we want to get it a bit we want to get it all textured and nice and looking moody I'd say so you can play with all these other other sections as well so clarity I would say that's about right I don't want don't want it to have don't want it looking like this it looks way too much so normal would be around there so I'd say about early 30s texture this well you can see it increases texture on the whole image I think it looks quite cool so we'll up that a bit dehaze wow yeah we don't want that back to zero and then we can adjust all these sections here as well so exposure which will brighten it I'm quite happy with how the overall image looks at the minute and we can we can change all these after anyway so it I wouldn't worry too much like vibrance bring out the the colors but we don't need that at the minute so click OK and then your image will come out like this so before and after and then we've got the top has filter above it so these are two different ways on how to create a HDR effect for your I'm using it for specifically sport design but you can use it for anything this could be promotional images of people say you just want to get the the image really crisp and looking really HD so you could use it for anything and it's obviously what your taste is as well you might not even like this so every designer has a different sort of taste so I really like it I use it for all of my sports designs just to make it stand out at the end I'd say so yeah that's two ways on how to create a HDR effect on your any sort of imagery any sort of photography but specifically sports design in this case so let me know what you think in the comments let me know any other tutorials that you'd like me to do any anything really so I'm always open to suggestions so let me know in the comments and obviously don't forget to like and subscribe I actually hit 100 subscribers last week and that was amazing so thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video Bye.